ever feel like you just need a vacation from your brain? Oh yeah. Just like a little getaway to like de-stress and just kind of like reset. Totally. Well, that's what we're diving into yeah. today. We're talking meditation and visualizations and how to find some peace even when everything feels like it's going a little crazy. Love it. And we've got this guide to help us out. I'm actually really curious to give these techniques a try. Yeah, you know what I think is so cool about this stuff? What's that? It's not just some new fad. These practices have been around for ages and now like science is finally catching up and figuring out why they work so well. Right. Like it's not just woo woo stuff anymore. It's like, oh, there's actually something to this. Exactly. So one of the first things this guy talks about is no surprise, deep breathing. Makes sense. It even suggests audible exhales, like mm. really letting it all out. Ah, interesting. Does that actually do anything or is it more for like dramatic effect, you think? Yeah. Oh no, it's definitely not just for drama. It's all about this amazing mind-body connection we have. When you breathe deeply and you do it consciously, you're basically sending a direct message to your nervous system like hitting the brakes on that whole stress response. Uh -huh. Your heart rate slows down, those stress hormones start to chill out, and your body naturally shifts into a calmer state. So you're kind of like tricking your brain into thinking everything is actually okay? Exactly. I like that. So then the guide moves on to visualizations. Okay. It talks about this whole energy shower where you're like washing away negativity. Honestly, that one sounds a little out there to me. I get it. It can sound a little abstract, but think about it this way. Have you ever felt super cleansed and refreshed after like a swim in the ocean or even a walk in the rain? Totally. That's what visualizations are going for. They harness that same feeling. When you really vividly imagine that positive energy just washing over you, you're giving your subconscious mind a powerful suggestion like, hey, it's time to let go of that stress and embrace something better. Oh, I see. So it's not just about thinking, okay, stress be gone. Mm -hmm. It's about giving your brain this whole sensory experience to tap into. Exactly. That makes way more sense. Yeah. Okay, and then of course we've got the affirmation. The class. Yeah, things like, <laughs> I am filled with gratitude and joy. Yeah. I'll be honest, I've always been a little skeptical about those. Yeah. Is it actually doing anything? Or is it just positive thinking? It's definitely more than just wishful thinking. Remember that mind-body connection we were talking about? When you say these affirmations and you say them with genuine feeling, you're not just saying words, you're actually strengthening specific pathways in your brain. Oh, wow. And over time, those pathways, the ones linked to emotional regulation, self-perception, all that good stuff, they become more robust, which makes it easier to access those feelings of peace and positivity naturally. So it's, it's like training your brain to be calmer and happier one affirmation at a time. You got it. That's cool. This guide also mentions like, feeling the affirmations in your body, not just like saying them in your head. Oh, absolutely. What's that all about? It's about embodiment, really feeling okay. those emotions. Think about it. When you're truly joyful, you don't just think, oh, I'm joyful. You feel it in your whole being, right? Yeah, for sure. Bringing awareness to those physical sensations, noticing where you feel light or warm or whatever it might be, that's what makes those affirmations truly resonate and stick. Okay, so it's like bridging that gap between what we're telling ourselves and what we're actually experiencing in our bodies. Exactly. I'm definitely seeing a theme here with this whole mind-body connection. The guide also keeps mentioning this inner sanctuary idea. What exactly does that mean? So picture it like this. It's your own personal peaceful space inside your mind. Right. It's not a physical place, but a state of being, a deep inner stillness that's always available to you. It doesn't matter what's going on around you, you can always tap into that. So it's like a portable oasis of calm. Yes, exactly. I like that, that you can just take with you wherever you go. Mm. That's a pretty awesome tool to have. Yeah. And speaking of tools, the guide wraps up by saying that even just a few minutes of mindful breathing or a quick affirmation can make a difference. Absolutely. It almost seems too simple. Like, really? Yeah. That's all it takes. Don't underestimate those small, consistent actions. It's like building a muscle. The more you practice, the stronger you get, and the easier it becomes to access that calmness and positivity. So it's not about becoming like a meditation guru overnight. Yeah. It's about fitting these little moments of mindfulness into our everyday lives. That's it. Yeah. I can get behind that. And you know what? The more you focus on cultivating that inner peace, the more it spills over into every other part of your life. It's like they say, peace starts within. Exactly. So for everyone diving deep with us today, here's something to think about. What's one small step you can take today 
to connect with your own inner peace. Maybe it's in a deep breath, a moment of gratitude, or even just noticing how your body feels right now. Until next time, keep exploring those inner depths 